Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, here with a review of Pearl Concert Grands by Impact Soundworks. Now I'm not a big fan of piano VIs, and over the years I've found myself using them less and less in my productions, mainly because I have a lovely, real, kawaii upright piano in my studio, but truth be told, I've never really found a piano VI that sounds great whilst also feeling realistic to play. Recently though, the Pearl Concert Grand has caught my attention for quite a few reasons that I'm going to share with you through this review. But first, let me give you a very quick overview of the GUI. As you can see, Pearl Concert Grand is hosted within Contact, and its sample library is available to download in 16 and 24-bit. Impact Soundworks has sampled a beautiful sounding Yamaha C7 Concert Grand in a lovely sounding concert hall. So, let me play an example for you to hear what it sounds like. In the middle, there is a four fader mixer that gives us the ability to mix between the four sources from which the piano has been sampled. So we have close, pedal, stage, and hall. each with their own control for width, offset, for time delaying each source up to 50 milliseconds with a basic compressor and EQ. Now, what I like about this section is that we can easily route each output to an auxiliary track in your DAW. This for me is a very important part of my workflow as I'm not a big fan of controlling volume levels within contact. So this is a great feature to have and be able to quickly set up. Piano VIs are well known for putting a heavy load on your CPU usage, and Pell Concert Grand is no different from any other. If you use the 24-bit, fully sampled instance, you may find yourself having some troubles, especially if your sessions are VI heavy. However, you can unload layers here, under the mixer, ones that maybe you're not using by just turning them off and on again. Or you can load up an instance of their 16-bit sample under the Contacts browser. At the top, we have a very powerful global effects section, which has a more in-depth compression unit, a tape saturator, a transient designer, which I find a very useful tool for mixing pianos, EQ, and of course a reverb. I'm very impressed with the selection of effects here, as it includes all the tools you'll need to shape and sit a piano in a mix. Finally, back to the main screen, and at the top, we have a mix preset browser for the C7 sample piano. I like that Impact Soundworks have included some creative presets and that they're not all natural, or for want of a better word, safe presets. So what I'll do now is go through and uh, play you some of these presets. So we'll start with the Concert Grand, one being a, uh, a natural sound. Okay, the next one being a creative one, reverse piano. It's kind of sound a little bit like a honky tonk. And this one as well. Another kind of atmosphere creative patch here. Sounds more like an organ. And what they've probably done is played around with, yes, the attack, which you can adjust in the settings here. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what the Pearl Concert Grand can offer straight out of the box. And I'm sure you agree, it sounds great. 
But remember, a good piano VI isn't all about how good it sounds. It's also about how it feels to play. Does it make me feel like I'm playing a real piano? Well, in short, yes. I believe the Pearl Concert Grand captures the essence of what I understand a Yamaha Grand Piano to be and play like. If, like me, you haven't got a MIDI keyboard with weighted keys, then this next feature will be very useful to you, as it has been for me, in adjusting the feel of the dynamics for playing. Under Settings, at the bottom, we have this velocity option at the top, which we can expand the view here. This lets us fully shape, by clicking and dragging the cursor over the display, the velocity response throughout the dynamics. I found this an extremely useful way for pulling back the strongest velocities, so at the top here, as my MIDI keyboard isn't weighted, so it has a tendency to make me perform heavier than I genuinely like. So, in summary, what do I think of the Pearl Concert Grands? Well, I very much like the variety of sounds that can be achieved from the one instrument, this being the C7 Yamaha Concert Grands. The GUI is very well laid out, and the option to change the lighting by clicking on the logo is also quite nice. If I had to find fault with it, then it's not with the instrument itself as you see here, it would be with the download of the library. If you want to download both the 16 and 24 bit libraries, then you'll have to download around 20 separate RAR files weighing in at over 30 gigabytes. But really I'm nitpicking and this isn't a deal breaker in my opinion. Go and check out the Impact Soundworks webpage as they have a great video of this being a bead against a real performance on a C7 grand piano and I couldn't hear the difference. I've been Dan, and thanks for watching.